what is up everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel with love from scratch um as you can see from the title of this video we are going to be talking today about garbage and more specifically bathroom garbage we throw out our bathroom garbage once a year this is our trusty little bin so it's not too big and you can see there's quite a bit of space left in there lots of room so the first thing that we need to really understand about garbage and about our waste in general is that in order for us to do better and to throw out less, we have to know what we're throwing out. So I think the first thing that we should do today is an audit of my bathroom garbage. Word of warning, if you don't like hair, there's a lot of hair in our bathroom garbage because it is considered garbage here in the city of Toronto. So look away if you don't want to see the hair. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna dump out my garbage. Sorry if you think this is really gross. Um, but I have a paper bag here that I'm gonna put any facial tissue that I find and any uh, used sanitary products that wound up in the garbage by accident. Um, I'll put them all in this paper bag and then that will go into my compost. Um, you can see I'm just sort of going through everything here. There's lots of floss and any little things that I find that aren't recyclable, um, like these toothbrush heads and this toothpaste bin, I will um, tell you what I do with those after. So I'm just gonna put everything back inside of the bin now, smush it down. And these last two pieces, I thought I could recycle that Band-Aid wrapper, but I actually had to throw it back in the garbage because it is garbage. And you can see there was a lot of hair in there and a few other things. Um, and I thought, why don't we just dive into what I think are the five biggest culprits that fill up our waste bin in the bathroom and we'll just work through them one by one on what they are and a solution for them. Number one is toilet paper rolls. I think this is something that most people just throw inherently and just naturally into the garbage bin in the bathroom. And they're bulky, they take up a lot of space and guess what, they're recyclable. So if you can keep them separate, sometimes it helps to have a separate waste bin in your bathroom. You don't even have to put a liner in it. That can just be for your toilet paper rolls once it's full throw it in the recycling, it's that simple. Um, we actually do a bit of a 50-50 split. So we put 50% in the recycling and the other 50% we save and we put our dryer lint inside of them. They make really good fire starters, um, perfect for camping and any backyard parties or indoor fires that you might have in your home. Number two is facial tissue and I I'm a little bit shook. I just looked up on Waste Wizard, which is an app here in Toronto that I will link below, where you can just basically type anything you want in and it will tell you where it belongs, whether it belongs in the blue bin, the green bin, or the garbage bin. And it just said that because of COVID-19, facial tissue now goes in the garbage, which, anyways, so maybe you'll use my alternative to facial tissue. So basically what I do is we don't buy Kleenex. I feel like you don't really need it if you have toilet paper in your home. Um, if I need to blow my nose or wipe a tear, I'm gonna use toilet paper and then I just put it into the toilet. And the next time I go to the bathroom, it gets flushed with everything else. Um, this works for me. It may not work for everybody. If you have really sensitive pipes in your bathroom, maybe you're gonna have to throw away the tissue. Um, I'm still really shook that it's garbage now, but try the toilet bowl route, see if it works for you. Um, and maybe try not buying Kleenex the next time you go to the shops and see if you can get by with just using toilet paper for those things that you would instinctively reach for when you go to get a Kleenex. Um, number three is cotton rounds and Q-tips. Um, we actually don't use Q-tips, so I can't speak too much to that, but I know there are some silicone reusable versions out there. Um, I'll link a couple different ones below so that you can see some of the different options, but maybe worth trying if you are somebody that loves a Q-tip because they do create a lot of waste over time. And for cotton rounds, I actually made these ones out of old um, baby face cloths. They have lasted me for over two years. I just pop them in a laundry bag at the end of every week. Um, I keep them separate here, clean and dirty. And at the end of the week, I wash them with my towels and they come out looking great. And they've completely replaced um, cotton rounds for me. You probably noticed in the garbage audit at the beginning that there were a few facial cotton rounds in there. Um, those ones are coming from a package that I'm still working through. I think I have two left and I've had it for like over a year and a half. So I'm almost done. And once I'm finished, I won't buy them again. Number four is more items that are disposable or multi-use, but that end up 
in the garbage anyways. Things like razors, razor heads, toothbrushes, toothbrush heads, and then containers that hold our products and our makeup. So, um, you know, there are obviously sustainable ways that you can replace some of those items. For example, you could get a bamboo toothbrush that biodegrades. You could get a safety razor that basically lasts forever. Um, you can get, you know, refillable containers in your bathroom for your shampoo and conditioner and body wash. Um, there are a lot of these options, but if you're not ready to take those plunges into fully replacing everything with reusable items, then I think the goal is to properly dispose of them and properly recycle them. So it's really hard to recycle certain products, especially when we can't clean them properly. Like a toothpaste tube is very hard to clean. A mascara tube is very hard to clean. So I, my recommendation and what I do is I keep everything in a box tucked away in my house once it's emptied. I clean it the best that I can and then I will take it to a TerraCycle drop-off location. TerraCycle is a recycling program that basically can recycle almost anything um, and they do all the grunt work of cleaning it properly before it gets recycled. So I'm going to link them below so that you can check it out. It, is honestly an incredible program and I couldn't recommend it more. And number five is sanitary waste and I am again shook because I just looked up on Waste Wizard to make sure before I did this video and all sanitary waste now needs to go in the garbage because of COVID-19. Previous to COVID you could compost all of your sanitary waste but now I guess for safety precautions they're having people put it in the garbage. So this is a bit of a trickier one now because I was going to tell you to compost all of your sanitary waste, but um, if you want to go the full sustainable route and get a reusable menstrual cup, that is probably the best option. I really struggle with trying to use a menstrual cup. I've tried many, many times, but what I currently use is just cardboard applicator tampons. All of it could have been composted previously. Um, and then with pads and liners, just the outdoor outside wrapping is what goes in the garbage and the insides again previously could have gone in the green bin. Now that we have to put that in the garbage, maybe an alternative would be to keep a separate bin in your bathroom to collect that waste separately so that once you're through your cycle, you can go and throw that out. I'll continue to check back and update you guys if the rules change and they go back to the way they were. Um, I'm really hoping that they do, but also understanding that the safety of our workers is really important. So that is my roundup of things that fill your bathroom garbage to the top. Um, if you have any questions for me or want to hear me talk about anything else, please just leave it in the comments below. Um, big shout out and thank you to everybody that's been tuning in. Um, I love reading your comments and I'm so happy to hear that some of the things that I'm talking about are helping you. Um, so please keep, keep writing me. Um, reach out to me on Instagram at with love from scratch um, and I hope everyone has enjoyed their weekend and the beautiful weather stay safe and I will see you next week